Hi, in this session, we shall understand what is a euro dollar deposit and what LIBOR and EURIBOR means. Let's start with euro dollar deposit. Euro dollar deposits refers to dollar denominated loans outside of US. That is, if this is US and these are banks outside of US, let's say this is A, B, and see these are three banks outside US when dollars are deposited here then these deposits are called as euro dollar deposits all these deposits are called as euro dollar deposits so, so that is euro dollar deposits. It's as simple as that. Now let's understand what is LIBOR. LIBOR stands for London Interbank Offer Rate. Now if there are two banks A and B, let's consider two banks A and B. Now if A lends dollars to be this is something which happens every day across the globe right now if a lends dollars to b he would quote the interest rate in libor the interest rate would be quoted in libor this is a common practice by bankers all across the globe whenever they lend dollars to another bank they will quote the interest rate in LIBOR plus a particular percentage for them. So LIBOR is the reference rate used to quote the interest rates on dollar denominated loans. This LIBOR is always stated as an annualized rate. Annualized rate. And it is analyzed using a 360 day year. That is, whenever they quote LIBOR, that particular percentage is valid for 360 days. So, if this particular loan was, say, for 60 days, then we'll convert this annualized rate for the appropriate time period. That is, LIBOR, which is called an annualized rate, into 60 upon 360. This would give you the interest rate for that 60 days. This LIBOR is normally written like this. 30 day LIBOR will be written 30 day LIBOR. 90 day LIBOR and so on and so forth. And for example, if a person wants to take say a loan for 270 days okay so then if there might not be a 270 day LIBOR so what they would do is they would consider the LIBOR for 180 days and for the remaining period they'll again use an appropriate LIBOR that is they might for example use a 90 day LIBOR for the remaining period. Up till here they will calculate the interest using this 180 day LIBOR and at this point they will start considering the 90 day LIBOR. So here it will become the 90 day LIBOR interest rate. Up till here it would have been the 180 day LIBOR interest rate. So this is how interest rate calculations are made for dollar denominated loans across the globe. This LIBOR is released by the British Bankers Association regularly. It consists of many banks in Great Britain and banks from outside Britain who have a head office in Britain or England. So this is quoted by the British Bankers Association. Now similarly 
there is another rate called Euribor. The Euribor is the Europe interbank offer rate and it's the Euro lending rate that is it's the Euro version of LIBOR. Whenever there are Euro denominated loans then they will quote their interest rate based on Euribor. This is published by the European Central Bank and all of the characteristics of Euribor are very similar to LIBOR. That brings us to the end of this session. Now let's try and solve a few simple questions. Euro dollar deposit is Euro denominated deposits outside US? No, that is not the right answer. Dollar denominated deposits outside US. If you remember that picture we drew, it was US in the middle and all the banks outside of US. So this is the right answer. If you had read the option C, you might have been tempted to take that as well because it said euro denominated deposits in US. So a few people might find this to be <laughs> correct. But the right answer here is B. If the LIBOR rate is 5.5% for 30 days on a $10 million loan, how much does the borrower owe in the end? This is a very simple question. Since the LIBOR is given as an annualized rate, First, we need to convert it into the appropriate periodic rate that is 5.5% into 30 and LIBOR is always quoted for a 360 day year so 30 upon 360 into 10 million. So this would work out to be uh, 0 0.4583. Three into 10 million so that is equal to 45,833 dollars so this would be the amount he would earn so the right option here is C that's all for this session thank you